Hey guys, how are you? I'm James or Jamster and today what I've got for you is a Call of Duty gameplay where I'm using the Barrett 50 cal and the M4 OA3. Uh, my sn sniping skills isn't too good um, as you'll see throughout but uh, I tried my best and I do get a quite a good kill to death ratio in the end. But the reason I'm using a Call of Duty uh, video today is instead of uh, Red Dead Redemption as I've been doing frequently quite recently I uh, wanted to talk about a situation that's quite popular uh, recently I just I know everyone's doing a sort of video talking about it but I just wanted to put my viewpoint across and my theory about things it's basically the Xbox One versus PS4 scenario and how Xbox One is basically going down the drain uh, if you guys don't know Don Matrick is the I think he's the CEO of Microsoft or CEO of Xbox uh, Corporation I'm not sure which one um, but yeah anyway sorry he he works for them and he basically decides what goes on and in a PR um, recently he said if you don't have Xbox if sorry if you don't have X, uh, an internet connection or a good internet connection there's no point in you buying the Xbox One you may as well just stick with the Xbox 360 or go and buy an Xbox 360 or in in most pe as mo pe most people took it buy a PS4 which obviously most people are now going to do so Don Matrick has basically shut all over his own company and there's like many th uh, like ideas on why he's done it like and no one really knows what's going on inside his brain whether he just gets like a bit too like nervous before uh, a PR maybe and he says things sort of in a spur of the moment and he doesn't really know what he's saying but I don't think everyone should sort of like summarize the the future of Xbox just from one answer Don Matrick has made in one of one of his press conferences because you don't know that because he said this one thing that he that is final and that is everything that Xbox is going to do you don't know in this six, like four, four or four to six months or so till Xbox one is released they might Microsoft might not create a plan to uh, design the console around not having to play online and then therefore it will just outplay the whole situation PS4 fanboys have got going on that they the, the PS4 owns all and I'd, it's, this isn't really a biased view like I've always been an Xbox fan but I do feel if Xbox and Microsoft don't work towards having this uh, non-internet play style that they will the sales will just be horrendous and they'll get no more user, regular users really because everyone's sort of made up their mind that they're going to switch over to Sony's PS4 when the consoles come out uh, which is quite unfortunate for Microsoft because they did well with the 360 uh, in my opinion they stayed in front of the PS3 in many many various ways and then obviously vice versa PS3 did for Xbox but in this one it does seem like in the long run that PS4 will come out on top they've made all the right decisions they've listened to their users and it's just sort of stuff that the Xbox One uh, well designers or marketing team have not done pr very as well like, I'm sure they've done a very good job but they've not done it quite as well as Sony and sort of the public has taken that in a view like oh Xbox One shit no no one's gonna buy your thing PS4 for the win and then P PS4 like even had like the immature it's quite funny but they brought out an ad for how to lend a game which Xbox can't use because they won't have disc games uh, it's basically where uh, they every game you buy on Xbox one you have to buy it online that's why it's an inter uh, internet based game uh, which I think it's got such a bad response they w I hope and I, I think they more than likely will change it so that they, it's disc based games but um, yeah it will be a long process they, they, or if it will either be a long process recorrecting that because I know they can't just do it at the, the click, a click of a button they can't just say oh no we're just going to bring out disc games now they have to sort out with all the packaging companies the design, marketing, how they're going to design the packaging and stuff like that they still have to do all that again and that's it's either going to delay the release or they're just going to stick with it and then get really shit sales uh, I don't know which one they're going to do but it feels like that it was either that like Don Matrick as a spur of the moment thing and he just said that about the internet uh, if if you don't if you don't have the internet you just have to get something else um, or if there will be a change or like maybe even 
so if you picture this guys picture in your head Don Matrick is actually the CEO of Sony but he owns both Sony and e Xbox and he owns more of Sony than he does Xbox so imagine Don Matrick's got 75% shares of the PS4 sales say and Don Matrick's got the 10% sales of Xbox One sales then he'll send Xbox down the drain so Sony get all the sales and then he makes billions and then goes and live on a yacht forever on a private island like uh, that uh, Richard Branson, he, that's 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 the guy. He'll go live like him, and then yeah, it's all a genius plan on Don, Don Matrix, the silly man. But yeah, that's that's my theory, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a really short one, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.